Hey everyone, welcome back to the Awesomer Pop channel. Today we're going to be making Rainbow Jello Twinkies. Oh yeah! We made Rainbow Twinkies using a normal Twinkies recipe before, but this time we're going to add our own twist to it. It's super cool, so stick around for full details. But before we jump into it, if you're new to this channel, be sure to click that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell for more awesome videos. Alright, so here are the items and ingredients you'll need to make the jello portion of the Twinkies. I'll show you what you need for the filling later. So we have this Hostess Twinkies maker, I'm sure you've seen it before, but we're only going to be using this baking pan today. You're also going to need a lot of jello if you plan on making a variety of colors. We'll be using red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Last but not least, you'll need unflavored gelatin. This will make our Twinkies more firm. Without this, your Twinkies will most likely break apart. Alright, so let's start by blooming some unflavored gelatin. We need three tablespoons. Here's one, two, and three. Now let's mix this up for about a minute or two. As you keep mixing, you'll start to get a thick slushy-like texture. It's okay if it's a little more wet than this too. Now let's bring out a half cup of boiling hot water. Now let's add two tablespoons of jello. Usually, we would pour in half or the entire thing, but we're making a much smaller dessert this time, so we need to measure it out. Now let's add half of this unflavored gelatin. Uh, yeah, this gelatin bloomed a little too much, so it looks a bit dry. Don't worry though, as long as your liquid is hot enough, it should dissolve easily. Just in case if yours gets like this too. If you still see clumps, just reheat your liquid and mix again. Okay, that looks good. Now let's pour this red jello into one of the Twinkie molds. Oh, make sure you spray your baking pan with cooking oil first. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Perfect. Now let's make orange jello. Add two tablespoons. Let's add the other half of the gelatin. Now mix this up. Beautiful! Now let's pour this orange jello mix into one of the molds. Alright, now let's make yellow jello. Add two tablespoons. Some more gelatin. Give it a mix. Excellent! Our yellow jello is also ready. Now let's make green. Pour it in. Okay, two more to go. Let's make blue. Pour this in as well. Now let's make purple, and then we can move on to our next step. Pour it into the last mold. Awesome! Now we're gonna put these in the fridge overnight, but these can also be ready in about 4-5 to five hours. Alright, let's see how these turned out. Woo, these look pretty good. Usually, we use silicone molds, so the jello is much easier to take out. Find a spatula or something similar to take them out. Be very careful. Just work the sides, and you should be able to pop them out. I need to flip this upside down for a bit. Sorry, y'all. This is a bit tricky. Okay. Woo, there we go. Here's a closer look at our red jello Twinkie. And it looks like there's no damages, so that's perfect. I think if this was a bit more flimsy, mm, I think it would have been bad. Okay, now let's bring out the orange. Let's make sure this one's like the red jello. Yep, nice and firm with no damages anywhere. I'm assuming every color is the same, so let's fast forward. As you can see, each jello came out perfectly, and so far, I have no complaints. Okay, now it's time to make the filling for our Jello Twinkies. Normally, we would just use a piping tip to inject it into the Twinkies, but we have to find a different way this time. It's too thick for the filling to spread around. You're gonna have to grab a metal straw or something similar and poke a hole like this all the way through. 
This is also why you want your Jello to be firm, because during this part, your Jello Twinkie will break apart if it's weak. So the gelatin is very crucial for this recipe. Now if you're too lazy, you can probably just inject it from both sides and it should fill up. But if you want to make it look clean and have the filling travel more, poke three holes on the bottom. Make sure you space out each hole. Perfect! Now we can inject our filling from these three locations and it should be good. Now let's do the same for this green Twinkie. This green one should be lighter so you guys can get a better look. I'll start by poking three holes. Now do it the long way. Perfect! So this part will take a while, but be patient with it and take your time. You don't want to rip anything during the process. And sometimes your holes will be covered like this. You can use a toothpick to pop off the top layer. By the way, keep these little stubs. I'll show you how you can use them later. Awesome! Now this green jello is ready to fill. And this blue one is one of the lighter colors, so it's pretty translucent. Make sure those three holes you puncture from the bottom reach the long tube in the middle. Okay, now let's make our filling. We need a cup of heavy cream. We also need a quarter cup of powdered sugar in the same bowl. Let's also add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now mix this all up until all the ingredients are incorporated. The filling should turn fluffy and creamy. Once it looks like this, you can stop. Now let's put our filling in a piping bag. We are going to be using a very small tip since the holes in the jello aren't that big. Okay, let's start by filling up our first Twinkie. Inject from the side first, but don't put in too much. If you do, it'll burst out and look messy. That's why we have the holes on the bottom to finish up. Now let's start from the middle. Look at that! You see it filling up? That's pretty cool. Now let's fill up the rest. Now remember that little stub I told you to keep? Well, we can cover up the sides to make it look prettier. Look at that! Here's our Rainbow Jello Twinkie. Okay, now let's fill up the orange. It looks so cool when you fill it up. Awesome! Now let's cover this up right here. And our orange Jello Twinkie is complete. Now let's fill the yellow. The lighter jello colors look so much cooler. Okay, now let's fast forward. We're gonna check out each jello color and we'll do a taste test for some of them. Let's start with red. Even though this is one of the darker colors, you can still see the cream filling inside. Now you can just take a big bite out of this or you can cut it in half. I personally wanna see how it looks on the inside, so let me open this up. Okay, it definitely looks cooler when it's just trapped inside. Gets pretty messy when you open it up. Now let's check out the orange. As you can see, the right side got filled up more. Oh, and I forgot to taste test the red, so let's do this one. Oh, that's good. It's very firm. The jello isn't as sweet though because we use so much gelatin, but that's where the filling comes in. Makes it sweeter and provides a creamy texture too. Alright, here's a closer look at the yellow jello. Oh, and broke this one apart, and it's not as messy. I'll take another bite. Mm -mm -mm. Perfect combo. Without the filling, this wouldn't be that great. Looks-wise, it'll be good, but taste-wise, mm. So I think it's very important you make the filling. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy while I do a little slicing show with the other three. Awesome or pop fans, thank you so much for watching. We can't do this without you. If you're new to the channel and became a fan, click that subscribe button for more awesome stuff.
And if you want to be the first person to watch our next video, hit that notification bell to have a chance. See ya!